Good morning everyone, it's Brenda, welcome back. I have a Thrifty Thursday haul to actually share with you today. I haven't done one in uh, quite some time, but I was pretty excited. I've been wanting to try my hand at uh, making my own paper. And so when I went to the thrift store, look what I found. Handmade paper. It's 11 by 15 and there's two sheets in a pack and they were selling them for a dollar each, but I got the stack of them for $3. So I'm just going to, I won't open the packs, but um, I'm just going to show you. Maybe I'll, oh, maybe I'll open one. Got to open at least one, right? But they just, oh yeah, that just feels amazing. Nice, beautiful paper with the leaves in there and the texture and there's some string in there. And there's two, two pieces. Oh, two, right, two large pieces. Silly me. So there we go. Look at that. Great for journal covers, pockets, tags. Uh, writing spots. I'm thinking you can write on it. The other side is flatter. Oh my goodness, they're just gorgeous. Anyway, there was a couple packs of that one. Like that. I'm just going to set everything to the side. And then there's these this red. 12 and a half by 18 and a half. And it's by the Keepsakes by Multicrafts and Gifts Company, in case you were uh, wanting to check it out. So www.multicrafts.com. And they're in Ontario, Canada. So I think uh, that would be a nice place to check things out. Unless, of course, you enjoy doing your own. I would like to try it still. There's a lovely pink. And it looks like it's, it just looks marbled. So it's just such lovely stuff. And there's the yellow and it's got some leaf, pe leaf pieces in there. And little ends. Just so pretty. Yeah, there's quite a few. There's another red one. And then this one. These ones were open, which is fine. And there's just this little piece of... It's very feels very thick. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's quite thick. I wasn't expecting it to be that thick, I guess. And then there's some very pale pink. Just take this out. And this stuff is thinner than, um, than the other stuff. Yeah, it's, it feels so nice. Oh, I'm not gonna fight with it. It's just that it's folded over. And then there's this pack of the green with the leaves. Oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. So I can't wait to play with some of these. This is gonna be, it's gonna be good. All right, so I'll just set those there. And then I was at the Dollar Tree and they have these little paper bags, brown ones and white ones I picked up. And I have these little mini um, cards, which happen to be white and the craft. And I thought I would collage the cards and the bag and then pop them inside the bag as uh, little embellishments. Like, I just, a great addition to a journal, right? Just something that would be quick and easy and, and it just makes pretties. A while back, I was at the Dollar Tree, and they had these prayer cards. So I picked up the two uh, different boxes. It says, Inspirational Prayer and Scripture Cards. 20 cards. Well, they're just scripture cards. There's no prayers. And then I thought, well, the scriptures can be prayers. Obviously, right? If you pray a scripture over somebody and they just have this beautiful feel and they're so vintage looking. That's that box. 
And then this one, it's, it's more springy, but it's still vintage. Like it's, they're just lovely. So I thought those would be great to use, to gift. Uh, every time I send something in the like happy mail or whatever, I would like to include, you know, one of those cards for somebody that I just think that would be awesome. And then here, $1.25. These are adhesive birds. I had picked some up before, but because I only had two things, I didn't do a, I didn't do a video. Maybe they're all gone now. So I picked up another pack. And they just have these little dots. I probably wouldn't use them with the dot. That would come off and then it would be adhered on without it. Just, I mean, face it, these are big and one little dot isn't really going to suffice. Unless, of course, you add more dots to the back. But yeah, look at how chunky he is. He's cutie. <laughs> and then the little hummingbird. Yep, so they're just fun little birds and they can be great in your in your journals. And that sweet owl. And then that one. And then this we went to the thrift store. And they had these chipboard pieces, once the once upon a time princess shapes. Well, it's it hasn't it hadn't even been opened, like it was still sealed shut. So I don't know if someone bought it and decided they didn't want it and got rid of it, but there's flowers and there's uh, shapes, princess shapes and castle shapes and unicorn crowns like the pieces are all still together and then there's keys corner pieces and then there's a there's a scroll a couple of scrolls I think which are they just look fun I don't know what I'm going to use them for but I mean obviously if I can't find a use for them I'm going to gift them there's a couple of scrolls but they're very vintage looking and they're just so pretty and they sparkle and shimmer and that's always an added bonus. And they can be added into any of your projects. And then there's this little Victorian Days to Remember. It's just a little calendar book, but you don't have to use it as a calendar book, obviously. You can, but you don't have to. Look at the images. How sweet is that? And then there's February's. Hopefully you can see it. Their pages are shiny. There's March. But, um, you know, you can mute them down a little bit if you want. You can just tape them, tape them, glue them right onto a, a journaling card or a tag. And if you glue it on with wet glue, you can buff all the edges with your, uh, with your nail file or a sander or something, and then it will help keep it uh, attached. But yeah, and there's May, June. Hmm. They're just sweet little pictures, and that's all I was thinking of, these sweet little pictures. The dogs, oh my goodness. I know someone who would love that page. And then there's that one. Uh, sorry if there's a glare. I'm trying there not to have a glare on there. And there's October. That's my birthday month. November has the kitty cats. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, and then December, of course, is uh, that very vintage uh, Santa. And then there's the back. So I just thought that was so pretty. And that was at the thrift store. And then I think this would be it. But this was at the thrift store too. She had just finished pricing everything and putting the bins out. This little guy was a dollar. But I just thought that would be really sweet on a cover of a journal. 
And well, that, that was the only thought that I had. You can dye it, coffee dye it, tea dye it, use your uh, food coloring, make it pretty, and then you can add it to your projects. So you can cut it up if you want, anything like that. And then there's this one. This one was $1.75, but I really liked it. Like, but I'm going to uh, dye this one and then I'm going to use it. So I don't know yet if it's going to be used as a full piece. I may cut it and use portions of it. And I'm not, I think it's, they look like they are attached at each point there with loops. So what I'll do is I'll just, whatever I cut off, I'll add a dab of glue in the places that I think need it so that it doesn't unravel. And so that's my thrift store hauls and the Dollar Tree haul, but I wanted to show you, you know that I keep all of my, um, my all my Tim Holtz dolls and all my butterflies, all that kind of stuff. These are the bags that I use. I wanted, I picked some more up, so I wanted to show you what they are and they're at Superstore. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like the, so that if you go and look for them, you'll know exactly what they are. And they are with all the uh, sandwich bags and the um, all the styrofoam cups and they're all in that area. So they're pretty easy to find. And they were um, $9.00. I believe and I didn't feel that that was a lot of money you get six of them and they are huge and they hold a lot and then what I do with mine is I punch three holes at the bottom you can put them into a binder and you can just fill them up and then just take your binder down and uh, unzip whatever bag you need so yeah but I wanted to get more because uh, mine are full. And I'm slowly using everything, of course. And as they empty, that's good. But these will be used for other things. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you today. And that's what I have for you. I don't think there's anything else. Um, yeah. So I hope you are all well. But next time we come back, we'll do a flip through of my journal that I finished and we'll start a new project. Have a very blessed rest of your day. Thanks so much for being here. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.